Rhonda had some fun. Oh man, Deja, the year's wrapping up. 2021 is going to be the year of the new. Looks okay. like somebody has a new job. Someone has a new relationship. There are new rules, new hustles, and revenge of night, night, night. You ready? Ready. Run it. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Run That Back with Aladdin and Deja Perez. And oh, man, we try to tell them. We, we try to give you the inside of what's popping in sports and entertainment before it happens. We were hearing rumblings that uh, there may be a trade for Russell Westbrook for John Wall. And it happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, this one, this one. It, it's been it's, a it is. It's bittersweet. This is but for the city, for the street, for the Washingtonians and the DMV area. This this is like a hard breakup. Mm-hmm. You know, um, man. But uh, John released a very dope letter to DC. He says, "Dear DC, where do I begin? Ten years is a long time to think back on. I came to DC as a skinny nineteen-year-old with big dreams and goals. You embraced me and my family with open arms through the good times." And the bad, that game six versus Boston. Oh, that game was clutch when he jumped on the table. Oh, that was, seems like yesterday. Um, he says, I appreciate you and will always have love for DC. I may not wear the jersey anymore, but I will I will never forget what it meant to be from here and represent for y'all. I won't say goodbye because this is not the way I wanted to, so I will say thank you. Which was super dope. Yeah, super, super dope, man. But, uh, you know, um, new beginnings, man. I think he's going to do an amazing job in Houston. Um, you know, I definitely look to see what the energy that a veteran like Russell Westbrook brings to the team. And, um, you know, it's a lot of new pieces, too. We just got the new guy from from uh, Italy, Denny. Um, we got the new guy, uh, what's his name? Rui. Rui, yes, Rui. Uh, and then, you know, Bill. Bill definitely had a, a very impactful year. So, and you know, you too, I believe so. For sure. For sure. But, you know, um, it's you know, we couldn't send my man John away without doing a little little celebration at Rose Bar. Because it wouldn't be D.C. if there wasn't a celebration at Rose Bar. Listen, man, we had to we had to take it to the Rose Bar. And this is what it was looking like on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> no man, but uh, we wish our guy John Wall the best, and um, definitely continue success. And you know, we're gonna see what these wizards gonna do. I feel like it's a great start, right? Refresh, you know. But uh, speaking of new, someone's in a new relationship. Yes. Yeah, so it's funny because our first episode we talked about Jimmy Butler, how he didn't have. Your boo. <laughs> well, nah. I guess. No, he else do, actually, because okay. you know, we talked about how he hadn't had a shape up and he was looking crazy and he swore up and down he was going to be fresh from here on out. Well, that freshness right, right. done landed him Selena Gomez. Wait, okay, maybe I need to. I mean, I've been doing the no shave November, so you know, maybe that might work in my favor. <laughs> the no haircut thing seems to be working for people. You, you think this is going to last? Insert cricket. <laughs> so I think it's well, going to be fun while it lasts. No, I okay. don't think it's forever. Um, but I'm here to be proven wrong. Okay. Well, listen, we, we've seen stranger relationships. This is an odd one. I'm not, this one, honestly, I was like, word? Like, Justin Bieber's F? For show. Hey, Disney listen. fan? Okay. All right. Hey, listen. I love it. Jimmy Buckets, he shot and scored with this one. So uh, we will Period. see. I wish them the best, though. You know, oh, I, I, I love new love. You know what I'm saying? Like It's fun. It's fresh. It's new. You know, all that. All of that. All of that. Well, since we still in the category of new, looks like uh, somebody might have a new side hustle. Who knew that Kyrie Irving could rap? I mean, he spent some time in Brooklyn, so I'm just saying. 
I mean, is that what happens when you go to New York? Like you just automatically become a rapper? I mean, ask somebody from up top. They'll tell you the truth. All right, well, listen, uh, we're going to run this real quick and see if my man Kyrie Irving got bars. Run it! At 92, Big R, Mamba Scala, AI Attitude, Life's a Ball Game, Swinging Bambino Tools. Bars? Hey, bars isn't that bad. <laughs> All right, well, listen, he, he has a, a nice little situation. He can, he can step off, of, you know, once the basketball thing is over, once step in the booth. And you know, you know, when you step in the booth, you gotta roll up, and and it seems like the NBA is gonna be okay with that during the season too. As a new rule, just Pretty wrote much. that there will be no marijuana testing for the twenty twenty one season. So uh, let's let's understand that this past uh, NBA season, I mean, probably in the bubble, whatever. But when everybody was home, twenty twenty was a rough year. People sure. needed some sort of therapy to get through, right? So I am thankful that they have decided to not test for marijuana because let's be real, it's not it's not a performance enhancing drug. It's legal in a lot of states. You know what I'm saying? Some of the states where they actually have NBA. Yeah. Okay, let's de they're decriminalizing it so they're not making it as big of a deal. Meaning it's legal. <laughs> like <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, medicinal right. purposes, you know, it's okay. Right. I'm here for um, it. Listen, I can tell you right now who I know help was on the front line and helped getting this passed. Who? Your boy, J.R. Smith. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> like, no, Listen, I know Uncle J.R. was like, look, we win this championship. Y'all have got to take this off the substance list. Right. You Yo, can talk for everything else. That's fine. Everything else. Listen, hey, shout out to my man, J.R. Smith. I know he was probably head of the committee with this. You know what I'm saying? Got the blessing of LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? So we already see they had the Louis Vuitton uh, trophy case this year. So, you know, I think that my man, J.R., man, he makes an impact. You know, that's going to be Henny. He's going to be Henny. He's uh, Henny and Jay. Ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> oh you man. Know who I am too, so I'm just saying it's a thing. <laughs> hey, we will see, man. But uh wrapping this thing up, you give the new who's gonna revenge night night Nate. Listen, your man Nate Robinson stepped in the ring. Oh man, we we definitely have to run some of the, the funniest memes. I think him on the bed. Him on the bed. The Lion King one. The Lion King. Like, Daddy, wake up. wake up. Yo, but someone said, you know what? We can't let the culture go out like this. So who's going to revenge tonight, night, Nate? Baby, it was just announced. The Floyd Mayweather is coming out of retirement to take <laughs> on <laughs> in an exhibition match. Yo. Hey, man, we definitely have to say and give our, our salutes to uh, Mike Tyson because we see he's definitely starting something epic, bringing people out of retirement. Like, but this is like, come on. Like, this so, is definitely Jake Paul. It was just Nate. announced, right? And so, Al, when we literally just sent the text message to each other like five minutes before we started recording, right? Yeah. So, what was your initial reaction when you saw that Floyd Mayweather is coming out of retirement to take on Jake Paul? You know, ah, I love Floyd, and I, I know this is his sport. I just he, he kind of like seems to me like he just he, he just got that itch, like he just can't stay out the ring. This is a perfect opportunity for him to just kind of come in, do what he do, and get out of the game. Yeah, and then, you know, this is this is definitely nowhere near close. This is like night night night. Nate stepped out of his lane, and Jake Paul is stepping into a lane that he. You asking for it, but you don't want these type of problems, man. Okay. So my initial reaction was, uh, like, so when Nate, Night Night Nate, as you refer to yeah, him, yeah, 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 that's his new uh, name. Now. That's his new name. Foul, but when <laughs> Night Night Nate uh, was on some, you know, we doing it for the culture, woo woo woo, cool, right? And then took a serious L. Okay, cool. But Jake Paul, like Floyd May Mayweather, is one hundred percent that dude. One hundred percent, like, yeah. This is. Even if tr if Floyd doesn't train a lick, like if he just steps oh, he's not gonna train at all. He's not going to do anything. No, I mean, Floyd, I mean, you can see Floyd definitely still in great great shape. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But this is sure his body. 
this isn't even apples and apples. We are like no, this is like taking a cake from a baby. Like this is it's about to be night night cake. We about to have night 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 is about to get retired by night night Jake. Absolutely, absolutely. I love it. I love it. Well, we will see how this shapes up. Um, they saying the fight will be in February, which is around the yeah. quarter in five minutes. Facts. It will be here before we know it. And I can't wait because uh, 2020 has been a year and then we got to wrap this thing up and move into 2021. See what the new year brings. But it looks like it's a lot of newness and a lot of new beginnings. And we here for it all. So uh, we'll catch you next time. We'll run that back. Asia Perez, Aladdin the Prince. We'll see you next time. Till then, run it!